As daylight came to Ferguson, Missouri, the fires had died down. The pain had not. This don't look like St. Louis. This don't look like a, a city in the United States. Smoke still billowed from burned out buildings. The broken aftermath of searing anger, frustration. After this announcement from St. Louis County Prosecutor Bob McCullough, in the case of Darren Wilson, the Ferguson police officer who fatally shot an unarmed Michael Brown. They determined that no probable cause exists to file any charge against Officer Wilson. They want him back in Ferguson. I can't get nobody back. Amateur video catching Michael Brown's mother among the hundreds out last night. Today, more outrage. You have broken our hearts, but you have not broken our backs. We. We are going to continue to pursue justice. Also today, in St. Louis, more demonstrations. Authorities say more than 80 people were arrested in Ferguson and in St. Louis overnight, most for burglary and trespassing, at least 18 injured and taken to hospitals. Um, I certainly hope that we get through this uh, upcoming evening without any issues. Uh, I hope we have peaceful protests. I hope uh, that everybody can, uh, can enjoy their uh, First Amendment rights and we don't see the kind of criminal activity from last night. The governor has called in more National Guard troops for tonight. Alex Sands, the Associated Press, Ferguson, Missouri.